Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sifu Bodhi. Today we're talking joint mobility and postural stability. Now, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Now, on this channel, we are always talking about Qigong. And you know, for me, I've been including a lot of strength building Qigong because so many of us either A, just don't move enough, and what we, how we do move is actually damaging us. Because so many of us have very poor range of motion, poor muscular stability and poor flexibility. And yes, Qigong is fantastic uh, to incorporate all those different uh, facets of fitness, uh, but I've been incorporating lately a lot more exercise to build some postural stability and strength. Now it's really important both for the shoulder girdle and the pelvic girdle to keep a neutral position because it's all about gravity or, or counteracting the effect of gravity pushing down on us. So if the head is forward and the pelvis is tipped or tucked or whichever way, we create a whole lot of damage. And a lot of time when patients come into my clinic, it's hard to fix things because there's years and years of bad postural stability, bad mobility, bad flexibility. And so we have to fix that in conjunction with trying to fix whatever bad shoulder, bad neck, bad hip, bad lower back there is. So today I'm gonna to be showing you quite a fantastic program that I put together, a power Qigong. And if you've been following the shorts or anything on uh, Instagram or, or TikTok, I've been posting some power Qigong movements. And so today I'm putting together a power Qigong program, a very short program, less than 20 minutes. And this is gonna facilitate joint range of motion, flexibility, as well as postural stability. So if you do nothing else, if you just did this three times a week, it would be enough to fix those postural imbalances. But if you work out, you do yoga, you go to the gym, you can use this as the, at the beginning. Maybe use it as your warm up if you're more of an advanced athlete. And we're gonna have four different levels in this workout. We're gonna have a novice. We're gonna have a split screen above my shoulder so we can show the novice exercise. And if, it's your, if you've really not done much physical activity, start with the novice movements until you can do up to the full repetition range. And we're gonna be going repetition range of five, 10, and 15 repetitions. So five will be beginner, 10 will be intermediate, 15 will be advanced, and in the novice, which will be in the split screen, I'll be showing 15 full repetitions of that, but you do what you can. If you can only do five of the novice, then you start with that. Now, once you can do the whole workout, like I said, less than 20 minutes you could spend in the morning, get it done, or as I said, before a workout, before a jog, before going for a hike, or for those athletes out there, if you want to, once you get to the end, switch back to the beginning again, start again, do it twice. Now we got a 40 minute workout. Do it three times. Now, you know, we can keep adding it and making it longer, so whatever you want, but once is enough. So without further ado, let's get to action. Let's start with some cleansing breaths. Deep breath in and out. In two and out. In three and out. Let's wake up those joints. Let's step the feet, roll the knees. Counterclockwise first, we'll do 10 repetitions. Breathing nice and easy. Switch directions. Now step the feet out slightly wider than shoulder width, lock the knees, let's roll the hips for 10. Always exploring as big a range of motion as possible. Switch directions. Now hands behind the back, let's roll the upper body all the way around looking 360 degrees getting that great dynamic flexibility stretch through the whole posterior compartment. Loosen up those hamstrings, get them ready. And switch directions. Nice and relaxed, exploring as big a range of motion as possible. Let's move to the upper body. Roll those arms backwards. 
Relaxing the shoulders. Switch directions. Rolling them forward. Totally loose. Now to the elbows. Relaxing those shoulders, rolling around the elbow joint. And switch. Nice and relaxed, shoulders dropped. And let's finish off with five around the neck. And switch. Very good. Okay, let's get ready for our first exercises. Novice, you'll need a chair for this one. Sink into your leg, step your right leg back, stretch your arm up. As you breathe out, extend and lift that leg. Breathing in, step back, breathing out, lift. Breathing in, step back, breathing out, lift. Nice and easy. Sink into that leg with lots of range of motion. Beginners can rest here. Everybody else, keep moving. Lifting that knee high, stretching it back. Lifting the knee, stretching it back. Nice and easy. At this point, intermediates can rest. Stretch it back, lift it up. Keep those abs tight, stretch. Lift it up. Very nice. Let's switch legs once again. Step it back, lift it up. Step it back, lift it up. Always stretching as long as you can. Lifting that same arm up as you stretch the leg back. Beginners can rest at this point. Stretch it back, lift it up. Stretch it back, lift it up. Stretch, lift, stretch, lift. All right, intermediates can rest. Keep your balance, keep the abs nice and tight at all times. Sink that leg. Great job. All right, let's ease on down to all fours. Novices are gonna stay on the hands and knees. For everybody else, step out to a full plank position with your feet nice and wide. We're gonna extend the left arm up, pull back, extend, and down. Right arm extend, pull back, extend, and down. That's one. Extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Keeping those abs tight at all times. Breathe in nice and easy. Pull back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Right arm extend, back, extend, down. Keep pushing. Remember, abs are tight at all times. All right, beginners can rest. Extend, down. Right arm, extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Keep breathing. Keep those abs nice and tight. Extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Down, keep pushing. Breathing nice and easy. Abs are tight at all times. Extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. All right, intermediates can rest. Extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Abs tight, extend, back, Extend, down. Just a few more reps. Keep the abs nice and tight. Focusing on your breath. Extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Extend, back, extend, down. Great job. All right, let's make our way back up to our feet. Step the feet out nice and wide, arms out at shoulder height. We're gonna take the left hand, crossing across the body, touch with the, by the right foot, and back up. Right hand to the left foot, and back up. For novices, you're just gonna to be touching the knee, sinking your weight back, 
always keeping the weight on the heel so you can sit your bum back as you sit. Twisting the torso, open up the chest each time you reach down, shifting that weight into the knee, back up and open, shift the weight into the knee, back up and open, shift the weight, back up and open. All right, beginners can rest. Sinking back, weight onto the heel as you sit back, sit your hips back as you sit. Twisting through the torso. Breathing nice and easy. Sink. Open the chest. Sink. Open the chest. Sink. Keep the weight on the heel at all times. Sit your weight back. Sitting those hips as deep as you can comfortably. All right. Intermediates can rest. Open and twist. Open and twist, open and twist. Open that chest, sink the weight back. Open the chest, sink the weight back. Breathing nice and easy. Never forget about your breath. One more each side. Great job. All right, step the feet together. Let's make our way back down to the hands and knees, moving into our rotating pike plank. Remember, novices, you're gonna stay on your hands and knees with your knees together in this position. So we're gonna sit back into our downward dog stretch, lift back up to plank, rotate the left, rotate the right. Sit back into downward dog, feel that stretch, rotate the left, Rotate the right, breathing nice and easy. Sit back, stretch. Rotate left, rotate right. Sit back, stretch. Rotate left, rotate right. Sit back, feel that stretch in the hamstrings and calf. Open up the chest, open up the right. Beginners can rest. Lift that left, open up right. Sit back, stretch those shoulders, open up the chest, open up the right. Downward dog, rotate left, rotate right. Really keeping those abs tight at all times, moving with your breath. Never forget to breathe. Sitting back, stretch, rotate left, rotate right. All right, intermediates can rest. Rotate left, rotate right. Sit back, stretch, rotate left, rotate right. Breathing nice and easy. Open the chest, open the chest. Sit back, stretch, rotate left, rotate right. Sit back, stretch, rotate left, rotate right. Great job. Okay, let's make our way into our 90-90s. Both knees are gonna be bent at 90 degrees. Novices, you're gonna keep your hands on the floor behind you. For everybody else, hands on either side of the knees, stretching down. Rotate to the opposite side, place the hand down, chin to the knee. Rotate around, chin to the knee. Remember, novices, just keep your hands behind you, oscillating the knees back and forth. Rotate to your right, switching over, rotate to your left. Rotate, just walk the hands over, chin to the knee. Rotate over, Chin to the knee. Great internal and external rotation in both hips. Going nice and easy, keeping those knees at 90. All right, beginners can rest. Rotate over, drop the chin. Rotate over, drop the chin. Going as deep as you can, comfortably without pain. Drop the chin. Rotate over, drop the chin. Getting that nice deep stretch through both hips, 
rotating over, drop the chin. Rotating over, drop the chin. Feet just stay where they are. We just rotate through the hips, bring the knees side to side, and then dropping the chin down to the knee. All right, intermediates can rest. Rotate over, drop the chin. Rotate over, drop the chin. Just walking the hands over, place the hand on either side of the knee, rotate, drop the chin. Walk the hands over, drop the chin. Just a few more reps. Rotate over, drop the chin. Rotate over, drop the chin. Great job. Touch that knee down, rotate over, drop the chin. Great job, let's move back to all fours. All right, beginners are gonna stay on their hands and knees. Everybody else is gonna extend back into a plank, feet together. Now we're gonna be bringing our left foot forward, bring it up beside the left hand, stretch the hips down. Right foot forward, stretch the hips down. Step back and forward, sink those hips every time. Step forward, sink the hip, step back. Step forward, sink the hip, step back. You wanna get a really great stretch through those hip flexors. It's a really big range of motion. For novices, we're keeping that one knee on the ground, just simply bringing the foot forward nice and easy. All right, beginners can rest. Stepping forward, drop the hip, step back. Abs are nice and tight at all times, supporting that lower back. Stepping back, step forward, stretch, stepping back. Step forward, drop those hips, step back. Always want to get that deep stretch through those hip flexors, just dropping the hip a little bit. But abs are tight at all times. Stretch, step back, stretch, step back. All right, intermediates can rest. Breathe in nice and easy. Remember, never forget about your breath. Step forward, sink, step back. Step forward, sink those hips, step back. Just a few more reps. Keeping those abs nice and tight, sink, step back. Step forward, stretch, step back. Step forward, stretch, step back. All right, we got one last exercise to go. Starting on all fours once again with our cat, cow, side crunch. So we push up into cat, relax down into cow, crunch right, crunch left, lifting up, Relax down, crunch right, crunch left. Press the back high, relax the spine down. Crunch one, crunch two. Lifting up, down, right, left. Lifting up, push, down, relax. Crunch, squeeze those obliques. All right, beginners can rest. Squeeze the right side, squeeze the left side. Pressing up, mobilizing that spine in all directions. Lifting up, relaxing down. Crunching right, crunch the left. Push up, relax down. Squeeze right, squeeze left. Nice range. All right, the intermediates can rest. Squeeze the right, squeeze left. Lift up around that back, arch the back. Squeeze right, squeeze left. Lift up. Push it up, relax it down. Squeeze right, squeeze left. Just a few more. Spine is nice and loose. So well done. All right, let's finish off with a few breaths in child's pose. Nice and relaxed. Lots of mobility, lots of postural stability. The body is balanced once again. So well done. 
Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you feel fantastic. Like I said, you only need to do this three times a week. Spend less than 20 minutes three times a week. Fix all that joint immobility. Fix all that postural instability and feel fantastic. As always, do me a favor, share this video with your friends, your family, anybody who you think needs it. Help me to help other people spread the word. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.